All righty. A little bit of uh, killing of the name of by uh, Rage Against the Machine. Well, I guess used to uh, Rage Against it, but I think they're becoming uh, a little bit more aligned with it. But anyway, let's uh, jump straight into that tutorial. All righty. So that intro I'm playing there, um, that's just hitting that low G, but I'm also sort of muting it at the same time. So three times hit. And then down here, I'm doing 11, 12 on the middle string to 11 to the 12 on the high G, so. On that last one, I'm just really bending down that, that 12th fret and releasing. Actually does that twice. I did it once in the intro. All right, and then it goes to the open G again. And that's um, hitting that three times again on that low G. And then three times on the G, uh, sorry, on the sixth fret on that middle string. So. And again, just resting my, my palm on the strings just to get that muted sound. Does that three times. Then on the fourth time, it just hits it once, hits it once and stops. And then goes into that probably riff that most people on that now. Alrighty, that main riff will sound like this. Okay, all that is is um, playing that open um, again. We're still using that palm palm using technique. Open low G from the hitting the third fret middle string hammering to the fifth, coming down to the high G, hitting the third hammering onto the fourth. So. Then finishing it with a fifth fret there on that middle string. So put that together. Okay, and that last part really just hitting the um, low G and the middle, playing it open, second fret, but then hammering onto the third. So back to the second fret and starting again. All right, so. that main riff a few times it starts the same and it is this part here is repeated so open this part's repeated so that's the third to the fifth okay so it goes ninth fret eighth fret seventh fret okay so i'll play that through for you comes back to that that same chords but it is played a little bit differently so we've got the open low g second fret hammer onto the third second fret hammer onto the third again back to the second fret so it'll sound all right that's what it'll sound like it only does that part once a second time it actually plays like an f chord I play my F chord with the third fret, middle string, fifth fret, top and bottom. But this time I'm really hitting the middle string and the high G. All right, but I'm going to play it through so you know what it sounds like. And then comes up to a G chord, which is fifth fret, middle string, seventh fret, top and bottom. All right, let's listen to that. that interlude part um, on that G. It hits it three times. And it goes, um, did you do what they told you? Does that four times. And then um, it adds a little bit of, and that's just um, muting. So really just resting your fingers there and still palm muting it as well. All right, so it sounds like this after the original four times. Does that for a number of times and then it adds um, the extra part in there as well. Um, but before it does that, it's actually got an extra G in there, so it'll sound like this. Okay, so you get that fourth one in. And what's happening 
there, I'm really just playing the low G in the middle string on the third fret to the fifth fret to that one note, that F note, uh, third uh, fret middle string, all right? Okay, so all together. It's also um, uh, important to remember, I'm actually in the key of G, so I think the record might be in the key of D or D sharp, something like that. Um, but anyway, that should get you through the majority of Killing of the Name of. So hopefully you got something out of this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up to let me know. If you dig on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And until I see you again, be good and hooroo.